Well, howdy there, chums. As I, Captain Steve, joined the Vector Meet, people wanted me to go see the 8-bit arcade by Dread 71, but it didn't appear in my list. But it does now, so I'm going to showcase that base. So yes, the NMSA 905 Hub Vector Meetup has finished. It was the other day. If you've missed it, I'll put a card at the top of the screen here, and you can click that and go and watch all the other fantastic bases that I visited. It was an awesome showcase of bases. Sadly, all the vector ships there were invisible. Yeah, can you Adam and Eve it? So I have arrived located at this 8-bit base, and I can already hear that there is an 8-bit chip tune playing, and it's freaking ace. So I can add that one. Hopefully that melody to my um, ensemble of tunes. There we go. Yeah, so this is by Dreads. And it's such a cool looking base. It's got some space invaders. What the fudge is that over there flashing? Is that a Donkey Kong? Hold on, I'm going to have to put the sun in the sky. But I think that's Donkey Kong. There we go. It is a freaking Donkey Kong. That is so awesome. Heck yes, that's... Oh, there's a, there's a Gallagher spaceship. Heck yes. Oh, this is freaking on point. This is so cool. And there's a little space invader under the mezzanine over there. This is awesome. I'm going to have to take a quick walk around and have a look at this. This is so cool. I'm liking the chip tune as well. The actual music is pretty down snaz. Coolio, but look at the lighting on this. This is so nicely done. I like the fact that the landing pad for where my ship is right now is right in front of the Gallagher. That, that just worked out pretty darn sweet. And my ship is the same colours as the Gallagher ship. 8-bit forever. Let's head on in here. Let's see what we've got in here. Cool. Well, I think these just add as base parts just for the actual one, the decorations, the actual pixel art that's around this. Nice to have a little, little GT terminal in there, though. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And we've got electromagnetic hotspot. Very cool. Nicely placed. I'm liking this. This is a cool little base. This has got a lot going for it. Let's see if I can get that bite beat, because I like that bite beat more so than some of mine. Here you go. I'll be quiet for a bit so you can hear the tune. That's actually quite a decent little melody, that. That sounds very much in keeping with the old Sega Master System days. Heck yes. Awesome, awesome tune and such a cool bass as well. I mean, this is freaking awesome. Right, well, let's jump on over here. Let's head on in here. I like the stands below all these as well. And I'd imagine you're going to be able to see the braces for the through the actual floor panelling. Oh, look at this robot. It looks like Vincent from Space Odd. Oh, that is so cool. And look, there's another robot in the other corner as well. I like this one. That looks like Vincent. That one's so awesome. Awesome, awesome little droid. Yeah, I'm going to nick this idea. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's head on in here. Yeah, look, you can see the yellow braces coming through the floor panel. That really adds to it, doesn't it? That's pretty darn sweet. Nice and slick. Yeah, that little robot there is pretty awesome as well. Let's head into this one. Let's see. In, what's it? Oh, look, he's used all the banners from the expeditions as well. And yeah, you can see the braces again. Very nicely done. Let's head into this one over here. And this looks like it's more of an arcade. Yeah, so we've got some sort of interface over here that we can interface with. So let's just pretend this is some sort of holographic arcade machine. Lovely. Sweet. That's very, very nice. And I'm liking the panelling on the walls, on the back wall there. That's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? The cubes that sort of come through the actual um, the base part. That's pretty awesome. Excellent, eh? Double thumbs up there, Dreads. It's really, really awesome. I, there's no other word for it. I've said awesome quite a lot. Because you know what? This base is freaking awesome. Heck yes, it is. I do like pixel arty type bases. I mean, I, I like quite a lot of base builds, to be fair. I'm quite into the glitch builds. I quite like the pixel art builds. I like ones that sort of mould those two aspects together in some way, shape or form. This one hasn't got any glitched items from what I'm seeing. This is all just a very much a straight build, but it's just been beautifully, beautifully done. I mean, look at that. That's going to be my freaking thumbnail. That's so cool. Heck yes. I've got my own arcade in the NMSA. Yeah, so that's... Thank you very much, Dreads. Has to be said, this is an awesome base. I wish I could have showcased it the other night, but for whatever reason, it wasn't showing in my portal list. And yeah, it really is cool. So this is in the NMSA, people. I hope you come and visit. Double thumbs up, Dreads. Awesome base, and thank you for building it here. Here's a better look at that other droid. Isn't he quite gnarly? Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I like his goggly eyes. Very cool. 
So there we go, people. You're going to want to know the coordinates for this, aren't you? Because I didn't put up the portal address. Well, this is in the NMSA vector meetup area. So it's in the top banana system. And it's on Nights in Banana Pajamas Planet. And there is the actual code. And it's in Euclid, people. Until next time, goodbye. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes. There's also merch on this screen now. Awesome.